Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered that there may be secret codes hidden within the natural world? I'm not talking about shared DNA blueprints. I'm talking about common numerical patterns that seem to appear everywhere. The Fibonacci sequence, prime numbers, the golden ratio. The natural world is brimming with these number sequences. Let's start with cicadas, the insects that emerge en masse to ensure predators can't consume them all. Some cicadas emerge every 13 years, while others every 17 years. Both of these are prime numbers, numbers divisible only by themselves and one. This could be random, but it does seem odd that there are no cicadas with 14, 15 or 16 year cycles. But there is a glorious reason for this. Emerging in a cycle of prime numbers helps avoid potential predators, with periodic behaviour that runs on a non-prime number system. It gives them a much better chance of survival. Right. The Fibonacci sequence is a well-known mathematical pattern where each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two. 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 2 plus 3 is 5, and it goes on and on. These numbers appear in nature far more than you might imagine. Flowers almost always have a Fibonacci number of petals. A calla lily has one petal, Euphorbia has two, Iris three and Buttercups five. Some Delphinium have eight, Corn Marigolds 13, some Asters 21, and Daisies have been known to have 34, 55 or 89 petals. If we take the Fibonacci numbers and turn them into squares, so there are two 1x1 one one squares, a 2x2 two two square, a 3x3 three three square, a 5x5 five five square and so on, we create the Fibonacci rectangle. By drawing a quarter of a circle in each square we can create a simple spiral. Such spirals are seen in snail shells, seashells, my ear and even a spiral galaxy. In fact, the fastest bird in the world, the peregrine falcon, follows this spiral when it stoops after its prey. They see distant objects much better when they view it from the side and not directly in front, but if they fly straight at their prey with their heads tilted to one side, it causes loads of extra drag. So they keep their heads straight and their prey to one side and simply spiral in on their target. There is one more special code in nature. It's the golden ratio and again it comes from Fibonacci sequence. If we divide every Fibonacci number by its previous number in the sequence, we get an average value of 1.61803. The ratio 1 to 1.618 is everywhere. Even our own bodies exhibit these proportions. The golden ratio caliper will help me to demonstrate. Each section of your index finger is larger than its preceding one by the golden ratio. You also see this between your eyes, nose and mouth and your eyes, mouth and chin. The distance between your eyes and the side of your face, again, it's the golden ratio. Of course, every person's face is different, but the average of these proportions is the golden ratio. For more incredible stats from the natural world, make sure you subscribe to Earth Unplugged and we'll see you soon. When a plane crashes into a glacier, the heat from the engine and of course any raging fire will melt to the ice. Before long, the plane and its contents will sink into the water and be entombed within the glacial structure itself when it refreezes. In 1686, Sir Isaac Newton came up with this rather brilliant equation. It basically means that the attractive gravitational force between two objects hanging in space is going to be proportional to how heavy they are and how large the distance is between them.